you guys, I had a subscriber ask me a question. They said, there are two slots for RAM as it comes with eight gigabytes. Can I install 16 gigabytes and keep the eight gigabytes as well so that it amounts to 24 gigabytes or does it require the same amount of memory? I have trouble understanding dual channel, single channel thing in RAM. So to answer that question, you can install additional RAM uh, and it can be 24 gigs, but usually you want the RAM to be the same speed. If there's a description in the speed of the RAM, then the slowest stick of RAM will be the one that is um, the main speed. So like, let's say you put in 2400 megahertz RAM, and then you also have 1800 megahertz RAM, uh, your system will always default to the slowest so that both of the sticks can run because you can't run at 2400 megahertz here and then 1800 megahertz there. It just doesn't work that way. So um, you should always consult the motherboard manual to see how much gigabytes of RAM your total system can support. Some systems only support 32, some only support 64. Um, it really just depends on your system. But the other question is about dual channel. So what does it mean? How does it work? Well, in theory, if you only have one stick of RAM, then that is one channel where information can flow in and then flow out. With dual channel, essentially you have, uh, let's just use this analogy, you have two pipes pushing water, uh, or in this case, pushing information instead of one pipe. So even though uh, one pipeline will work, having two pipelines means that the information can kind of get there quicker and they can also exit quicker. But that doesn't always translate into um, real world performance. We have seen in games, if you're running a dual channel, that it will run smoother, maybe like an extra five, 10, sometimes 15 frames per second. Other times it's been shown not to do much. Now it probably really depends on the game and how the game was designed and kind of your overall system setup. Uh, or we have two other viewers also asked about um, CPU and GPU temps and um, like what's the normal range and is it normal that their machines are getting hot? So we have uh, Slow Mercy over here. He's saying, I feel like my laptop heats up a little too much. The area with the omen on the front page gets too hot, I think. Also, what would you consider normal CPU temps? Even when I was playing Condemned, uh, Criminal Origins or AC Revelations, the CPU temp was above 70. I do have a cool pad with four fans. So right off the bat, nice job, man. Your system's actually pretty cool. There are um, some some temperature Nazis out there that believe that your, your temp should always stay at like 60 C, but it's all nonsense. I used to have a video card that, that would run at 95 C, sometimes 100 C, sometimes 110, even 115. It was pretty, in, pretty intense. So I think as long as you're under like 95 or, or around 100, You'll, you'll be okay. The systems can run at that speed, um, whether they're, or at, at that temperature, whether that's actually recommended is kind of a whole other story. Um, if you can avoid having your, your system go up to like 95C, great. If you can't and your system's at that, you'll probably be just fine. There's a lot of people that are, I think, just maybe a little too um, paranoid about uh, their CPU and GPU temps, and I can tell you for a fact that that uh, slow mercy, you're gonna be just fine. Your temperatures, your temperatures are pretty all right. Okay, and then we have uh, Tanner Bennett. Great video. Question about GTA 5 performance. What temperatures did your CPU graphics and SSD run at while playing GTA 5 for a decent period of time? My Mac Pro CPU and dual D500, however, is in the 7578C range, but definitely do peak at 80 and 81 semi-frequently. My SSD peaks at 61 degrees. Are these fine temperatures to be running consistently on a Mac Pro? So right off the bat, congratulations for um, getting a Mac Pro. That is one amazing device. Seriously, I love that thing. When I had that thing, it was one of my favorite computers. For sure, it's one of the best designed computers out there right now. Um, and in fact, the Xbox, the new one that's coming out, its design is basically based on the Mac Pro, which is kind of funny. 
So uh, for the Mac Pro though, it wasn't really ever designed for intense gaming. Sure, you can game on it, but if you're playing games like uh, like Battlefield or games like Rust, um, those games will put a lot of pressure on the system. Uh, your current temperatures, Tanner, at 75, 78C, that's fine. You'll probably be okay. But keep in mind, the hotter your system gets, you're always going to reduce the life of your system at least a little bit. I can't say really how much of the life is being reduced, but anytime you turn your computer on and it gets hot, the life of it is being reduced because the metals get hot and then they get cold again, they get hot and cold, hot and cold, and eventually things do start to break. These normal temperatures though, at 75C, 78C, that's totally fine. Even even in the 80s, you'll be okay. Computers were designed to get to, to be able to take some temperatures. I used to run, I think, at about 85, 80C, but I used to live in a very warm apartment, so it used to get really kind of hot in there. Uh, my fans were always just just blowing like crazy. Um, so yeah, don't worry about it. Your temperatures are just fine. Usually, the system will thermal throttle if its temperatures get too hot. So this is basically um, some kind of special software that kicks in to protect the hardware when it gets too hot. It reduces your gigahertz from like, let's say three gigahertz down to two gigahertz, maybe 1.8 gigahertz. So already if your system is getting too hot, it does have countermeasures put in place where your performance will start to degrade and you will notice really bad performance. So if you start noticing bad performance, that's when you'll know your system is getting a little too hot. Um, some systems were designed with that completely in mind, where they where they're always overheating basically, and you can't really you can't really um, deal with the thermal throttling because it's always throttling. Most laptops these days are are always throttling. It doesn't matter which machine you get, it's almost always just throttling because keeping it at the optimal temperature is hard, and it's easier to just reduce the performance to deal with the heat. But yeah, slow mercy, I wouldn't worry about your laptop too much. They, they all get extremely hot. I get asked this question literally every day. Um, oh, my laptop's really hot in these specific areas. So I don't know what to do, I'm worried. Just don't worry about it. It's it's a thing that happens. That's It's literally a computer that's been scrunched down. So it's going to be really toasty in there. We haven't really seen laptops that don't get hot. If you can find a laptop that doesn't get hot, uh, definitely let me know, but I'll be very surprised. I don't think you're gonna find it either. But yeah, don't worry about that. It's totally fine. Just make sure it has plenty of airflow. You did say you're using a, a cooler. That actually does help. Not a lot, but it can help. So uh, you're already doing everything you should be doing. Great job, man. We got another subscriber. Uh, he says, nice vid, bro. Been subbed for a long time. You deserve 100% for subs. Keep grinding. You will make it one day, I'm telling you. Dude, thanks, man. Really appreciate the uh, the nice comments. I don't get too many of them. I mean, I get kind of like a mixture of all kinds of comments. So when, when I get positive ones, I'm always like, ah, oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Nice review, man. Just picked one up today based on what you had to say here. Thanks. Hey, Steve. Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, watch some more videos if you can. And if you have questions, I'm here to, to answer them. Thanks for the pleasant comment. Hey brother, what you said in the beginning is the exact reason why I love Razer. You get to, you get to have the looks of an Apple MacBook Pro, but the power of a killer PC. I have always been bothered by how good a Mac looks next to a PC laptop, but I have never been impressed with their weak ass Radeon graphics cards. Oh man, that's that's a really good point. Yeah, I've been I've always really liked Mac, but. They kind of have a weird configuration with their graphics. They use Radeon because it's better for video editing because they have uh, more stream processors than, uh, for instance, like NVIDIA that uses CUDA cores. And the stream processors are better for video editing because you can have more of them and they're more specialized. So it's kind of why Apple goes for Radeon. So Radeon tends to have um, its benefits, but I've been a little bit disappointed with, with the gaming um, but at least now we're getting much higher end Radeon graphics, which can game, but it still has a little bit of wiggle room to catch up, I think, or to surpass even NVIDIA. Kind of surprised they haven't yet. I think they probably could, but seeing as AMD that, that makes the Radeon, they're kind of, their market share and the target market is all over the place. And so they haven't really 
zeroed in on uh, making the best video cards, but they do make some decent ones that compete fairly decently with NVIDIA, I would say. Another subscriber asks, Hey, just wanted to know if this is a laptop good to run League. I don't want to play in high settings, just maybe like medium. So Lustify, um, you should be just fine. Don't worry about it. As long as your machine was made in 2011, 2012, and it has integrated graphics, you should be able to run League pretty good. They've made major strides in making that game look phenomenal on almost like any machine. And that is really impressive that you can play that game on, on any machine. There's even uh, League of Legends clones on like iOS and Android that run really well, almost exactly the same graphics, maybe even sometimes better. So to answer your question, that laptop, the one that you comment on, uh, the, the Acer will definitely work quite well. I would not worry about it for sure. And if you guys have any questions about computers or your machine or anything at all, and um, even if you're looking to buy a particular device, uh, definitely comment down below or comment on one of my videos and I will be doing video replies every week. I'm shooting for maybe about two of these types of videos per week. So uh, leave your comment below and get featured in the video. All right, see you guys later, thanks.